Hello and welcome back to Toy Tinker Simulator. In the last episode, we took a look at the museum and uh, managed to place or make the eight toys we needed in order to open the museum. So we have the museum to, to now check out and uh, explore if we wanted to. We can always look at the cameras as well and, uh, and see what the people think. And so now today we're going to take a look at the master toys. I managed to level up to level 25, just barely, so we can take a look at those. Actually, before we do, one other thing I want to show you. I purchased the remainder of the machine, so every spot now here, all of our equipment has been purchased. Uh, the last two pieces were the laser engraver and the solder station. So we have everything covered and we are ready to, uh, ready to proceed with any toy we get offered. Okay, let's go in here and project 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 um I, because over the sailboat i guess i don't see any reason not to accept that and we'll take a look at these uh final few toys or few types this this final type of toy a few of those and that might end up being the uh the, this final this this might actually be in the final episode of the series uh, but just because I'm not sure how much other content there really is to do other than to can keep making toys or repairing toys. So that's a display issue there. That's all right, though. There you go. Here you go. One more for you. Okay, and then we need to power coat those. Nice bright red boat here. There we go. And we can paint. Blue paint. Goes to the printer for decals. Flag goes to the printer as well. Run the oven. Three pieces we powder coated. Uh, we're missing a couple of pieces at the printer, so I, I suspect we need to come here and send a couple of these back to the printer. If I could suggest one enhancement, that would be it. Is to is to offer some way of dividing those items between their destinations. Because the extra step is a little bit tedious. You have to go go and find them. Because you can't you can't do a station unless it has everything already at it. Unless it's green, basically. If it's still yellow, even if it's something like this where you're doing one piece at a time, you can't even do it. Um, I understand it for the oven, since you want to run around the oven once, things like that, or the the um, ultrasonic cleaner or something like that. But when it's something like that, where you're having to click each one anyway. The game should just let you do that, so that's the other option. It's just to let you do partials on the equipment that you can do partials on. So I don't know why that's a master level toy. It wasn't any more complicated than anything else. No more steps, really. Uh, definitely not any more pieces. Back to project first to deliver that. Oh, and by the way, we do get a bonus now uh, for having a mu open museum. So, um, we get 10% bonus, and I'm assuming the more museums we open, the more bonuses we get. Um, which, by the way, we could, if we saved up enough money, we could purchase another museum and uh, put together some additional museum toys and send them over there. Yeah, museum bonus brings extra income for each delivered toy. So that's how you really start raking in the dough, is you, you purchase another museum, you... Um, Fill it up with museum grade toys. And then you send it to and then you 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 send those toys there and you start really uh, putting it together. And you start making bonus percentages on top of each toy you complete in any tier. Um and then you're 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 really making bank then. Uh, I think we have picked a helicopter. 
Let's give us 480. Stabilizing propeller. Remote control. There we go. Couldn't click it. Or couldn't find where to click on it. Landing struts, of course. Some kind of a hatch. That's it. Now, there's not a whole lot of choice piecewise on this. Oh, this one has pieces to it. Okay. Go ahead and throw those in the cleaner. This is, is this actually a remote control helicopter, too? Interesting. More to do here. Oh, we gotta take the electronics out. Okay, that's at least interesting. We take the electronics out so that we can send this to be cleaned or be treated. Oh, and then we can go to the soldering table. Good thing we uh, purchased a soldering table. Oops, not you. I didn't want to visit you. Now let's go here. Scrub these up. up paint so yeah we, we snapped the casing off basically of the remote control so that we could repaint it not what i was expecting so that's a little bit unique for this uh, level plus of course the soldering table which we'll get to in a moment i did use the laser engraver on one of the toys that i did previously we could probably try to find another one so you can see how that works i think we've looked at every other uh table or a piece of equipment as well so now we're just kind of down to those last couple decal here. Nice. And the solder station. More or less the same as all the rest. But I don't mind. It's still a nice relaxing and chill game. Uh, that goes in there. This gets snapped onto there. That gets snapped onto there. Okay. There, there, and there. There we go. Nice. I think I'll do... This one. And actually take a picture of it this time. Uh, screenshot of it, I mean. So yeah, 10% bonus for having a museum. At least the starting museum. We could do more helicopters. I don't want to do a bunch of the same things, though. We could do the quadcopter. Uh, this is another remote control uh, car here. This looks different, at least. It's another, you know, flying machine of some kind, a helicopter or something. But uh, wrench size 2. Okay. We'll buy that. Wrench size 2. Over here. Oh. Oops, head screwdriver there. Take all the feet off. Like it's a dinosaur and you're ripping its feet ripping its feet apart. Pin there. I guess it turned the opposite way. Pin here. These are a little hard to target sometimes. Okay, now it's just trolling me. Thank you, game. And those get pulled off, which they probably could have just come off with a pin. Make life easier. 
in here in the back. Control again. And lots of big pieces here. Okay. You just snap the remote control apart. Uh, where's it at? I saw it. I missed it the first time. There we go. Painting. Pop the electronics out. Ain't that. There we go. And we have some pieces to... Oh, nine pieces to sandblast. Okay. That'll take a minute. So it can be all those little pieces. I assume. I don't know why those wouldn't go in the... Um, the tumbler thing. They're small enough. And it seemed they seem to be doing it kind of interchangeably between sandblasting and tumbler. But I don't know anything about the tumbler to know if it has a different effect than sandblasting would. piece it was that uh, didn't go here. I didn't notice. It'd be one of the pieces that only had uh, one piece. So, three legs, three feet, the body, that's seven. Um, and the two... Well, what piece would it have been? must have been the body that didn't go didn't go here because three legs and three feet is six and then the two uh, propeller things and the body was nine so it must have been the body that we didn't put here yeah definitely blue and black solder station Hope you can hear the zapping sounds. Uh, bench grinder first. Right on second. Grind it down third. Nickel plating. Okay, you're orienting it that way. Freeze the game. There you go. And that one too. There's some uh, ghosting going on, too, it looks like. There we go. Go here, nickel plating. I don't know if the uh, painting table pieces are on the work table, or if they are... Some of these. Well, we'll go see. It can't be these. These are just pins. It must be on the work table. So we'll take a look. Uh, yep. You too. Where is the big piece at? Is it here in the painting? Probably. The main uh, body. We sandblasted it. We're not gonna spray coat it. We're gonna um, hand paint it, huh? Interesting. All right, I think that's everything. Start putting this thing back together again. Foot, foot, foot. Uh, no, not leg. Pin, pin. I don't know where the other pin is. Oh, there it is, way over there. Foot, foot, foot. Control, there. What are those called? Turbines? I think they're called turbines. Cool. Another flying machine.
There we go. And uh, what about what about something that might take engraving? I assume that this doesn't need to be engraved. No. Might not have anything that actually needs to be engraved. That needs a 3D printer? Okay. Uh, let me go back here to Journeyman. Does any of this stuff need to be laser engraved? It would be something wood, I presume. Which, most of this is plastic and metal. Um, no, the, this truck. Okay, we'll do this truck. Grab the uh, varnish we need. That way we can see on camera how the, how the laser engraver works. Uh, let's see, we're in journeyman, truck, accept. There we go. Then we can go do maybe a couple more. Um, I think I did this truck already once. Uh, off camera, I think. Looks quite familiar. Yeah, the metal um, metal axle pins. I, I know I did this one recently. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah, I definitely did this because I remember the the front here having a... Um, actually, this might have been the last, the last piece I did. And actually, this is the piece I did that required engraving. That's okay. It might have been the last one I did just to level up on. Or one of the last ones I did to level up on. Even though you drag it to the logical spot, it still doesn't always accept the logic like that. That should work, but it doesn't, so you have to kind of drag it to the middle. Alright, that should be good. Start on this side this time. Power sander. Gray paint. There we go. Bench grinder. Power it up. back for the, the painting set. This is the old-fashioned way. Okay. Ultrasonic cleaning. Can do the hand painting now. Fire this up. I like this one too. I can see that that you have to be full in order to, to do it because you're doing them all at one time. But the ones that are one after the other, they could you could do them one at a time. There's no reason you that or you could you could do it when it's partially partially completed. There's no reason why you couldn't. I think these are going to be different colors though, at least. So that's uh, at least the game does that. It kind of randomizes the colors. Which is nice. So even if you're doing the same toy over and over again, like that helicopter that's appeared twice more, the first one we did, uh, we could probably do it both times. It would it would give us a different color scheme each time, at least partially different. We could go look at this one though when we're done in the gallery and see the difference between this one and the one that I did on my own. Have to come back to the laser engraver. We have some painting and varnish to do. Oh yeah, uh, the laser engraver is after the varnishing, which I've never used a laser engraver. All I've used is a so uh, um, not a soldering iron, a uh, 
uh, wood burner uh, for those types of things, which I don't think you'd want to use if you were going to varnish it first. I think you'd varnish it after. I don't know if the laser engraver would be the same or different in that respect, but I sure wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> be the one, be the one trying it out for the first time to laser engrave something onto a piece of varnished wood. Varnish is flammable. At least until it's totally dry, and then maybe even then. And we are done. Okay, let's put this together. Pop the wheels onto the axles. Axles onto the carriage. Doors. And then people into their little spots. Doors. Uh, the bucket can go on. The... the uh, License plate can go on, and then we are done. So we have orange-bodied, blue-headed blue, blue -headed people with red hubcaps. And let's uh, switch quickly to the gallery. Here. And scroll down to the bottom. Our second page. Oh, duh. Journeyman. Uh, I did it a few toys ago. No, they were the same. Okay. Well, either way. Uh, sometimes they're different. We found that out early on. Uh, with, I think, these little cars. One of these little cars. I think. Uh, one of these, too, I think. Airplanes, too. This is a red airplane with blue trim. Oops, not that. This is a green airplane with blue trim. So they do change the colors up. Maybe not every time, but there's at least a randomizer there. Um, well, let's see. We only have three master toys. To oh, it deduplicated those? Interesting. So now all we have is the three we've already... Oh, this is the gallery. Wally, you moron. Uh, let's go in here and let's pick a different one out. I think maybe we could do the, uh, the car. Pick up our sponge and detergent. Go. Master car accept. And at some point, there's nothing really else to buy other than, you know, more museums. So it kind of makes some sense that you would focus that, uh, your game on that after. Uh, logical, I think. Uh, let's see. Take the controller off. Really, we... Oh, we're going to pry the controller apart while it's still on the body of the car, huh? Okay. Okay, now we're taking the... That's weird. That was weird. Uh, let's see what we have down here. What is that for? Battery, maybe? It's getting washed, so I have no idea what it is. Oh, there's a little something here. Battery as well? Yep. Oh, battery cover, yeah. I guess that could have been a battery cover on the car as well. Let's take a look. What do we have? What do we have ready to go? Just the cleaning table. Water on. Scrub it down. last one I thought so and we'll do the brush painting okay a little bit here a little bit here. wait we're brush painting 
Okay, maybe the cable? Or the whatever that is, the antenna? No, it's the cable. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. Okay, now we can solder it. Yeah, it must have been the cable. Or the, whatever that is, the antenna? No, because some of these remote control cars are wired remote controlled. Or were back in the day. That was it? We just we didn't have to... Okay. I was expecting more steps, I guess. There and there. Not yet, okay. Battery covers back on. Yeah, that's definitely what those are, is battery covers. It is radio controlled, though, not uh, wired remote. There we go. All right. I think we'll do maybe one more toy. Great, thank you. Uh, let's do one of these different ones, even though... Ooh, that one looks interesting. Let's do this one. Yellow spray. Okay. Doesn't make much money, but that's okay. Here. Here. Sandblast? Yep, yeah, one sandblast. Okay, and that doesn't get powder coated either. It just gets hand painted. Or spray painted, I think is what we sent it to. I didn't even notice. Yep, must have been. Okay, wheels. Nice bright yellow. No, it went to the hand painting table. Okay. The uh, crank, and then another wheel. Yeah, we have something to print. Yep, here it is. Brush paint that. Bright blue color. Bench grinder. Turn it on first. We will bench grind the uh, inner parts. And it'll shine the whole thing up. Nickel plate that. But it looks fancy. There we go. And printer. For a nice little decal. We did have one seal looking uh, creature before. I don't remember if that was on camera or off though. We're good. Wheel, crank, barbell, wheel, and go. Okay, we can turn this in. And just what I was afraid of, not quite enough money. I was hoping to get enough money to buy this next uh, museum, just to see. But I think what we'll do is we'll actually play one more toy because we have time. Uh, not another real control. We'll do the quadricopter, I think. Because uh, the top is probably going to be boring. I'm guessing. Let's do the quadricopter. It's probably got a billion pieces. Maybe not a billion. You know what I mean. Remove this. There we go. Wrong way, but that's fine. Oh, these don't. Okay. There we go. Go out there. There. Not as many pieces as I feared. Probably. We'll still have to finish taking apart the remote, but... Oh, this one's done? Okay. These all go to sandblasting. And then 
this can go here. Right apart. Send that to paint. Pick this up. And then that's got a little screw in it, I think. Yep. Go there. And you go to solder. Right, we'll start with the sandblasting. There it is. Do these quickly. We don't have any museum toys to put in the other museum, but I want to just buy a museum just so we can have that experience of having bought a, in a museum in the series. Okay, no powder coating this time. Go ahead and do the soldering. Powered on. Zap the circuit board. Thing to do there, just some painting, I guess. Wonder how the game works out, kind of logically, how much paint you're using and when you need to rebuy the paint because it only says one use or one, whatever it says. We've had to buy them periodically throughout this, this series and, and the off-camera play too. I don't know how many paint sets we've bought, but it's been way more than one. But not one for every time we've used it, because we didn't buy one for this toy, for example. So, it's definitely, uh, there's definitely an internal counter that uh, the game doesn't show to us. But it is keeping track of something. I don't know if it's a color thing, like you use so many of, so many, a color so many times, then it burns the whole set, or how that works exactly. I think that's everything. Go and start putting it back together and see what happens. Uh, let's see. Circuit board in the controller. Controller goes on top. Propellers go on top of the motors. And they're on the wrong sides from the motors are connecting to. But that's fine. On the table, the layout here. And that's it. Let's turn this in. And we have plenty of money now to buy a, another museum. Or barely enough money, but enough money. Let's buy that. And we can go there now. We can at least see the empty building. We have to get eight toys to fill it up to open it. Which is the next step you would do, uh, sort of logically, in the progression of the, uh, of the game. I guess we could also potentially borrow the toys from the other museum to put in here. Um... Ah, there's the toy cases right there. Um, we could take them out of the other the other place to put in here, I suppose. Um, we'd have to cancel them out of the other one, though, I guess. So, I'm not going to go through that effort, but I wanted to just kind of come in here and see what we were looking at. See what another one of these um, museums looked like. Snowing outside. Kind of just like real life in a lot of places. Uh, today or this week. Definitely here the other day. And I think we're going to actually just uh, kind of call this an episode and call this a series. Uh, this game was really fun to play. It was kind of a nice relaxing game. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this short feature series. And uh, we have other games that are, that are planned for feature series as well as they released or as, they, uh, as I acquire them. And then uh, uh, otherwise, keep an eye on the main series. Right now we're playing against the storm and uh, I'm enjoying that game so immensely that even if you all weren't enjoying it, I would still be playing it off camera. 
so there's that. Um, I do have other games that I want to play, so I don't know how long the Against the Storm series is going to go. But if you haven't checked that game out yet, uh, please do. Um, it's a really fun city builder with a lot of roguelike elements to it, and, uh, well, it's really fun. Um, it gives it a nice challenge uh, while still making making it compelling. Uh, recently ended also, Infraspace is a production line uh, builder, uh, colony builder, and I enjoyed that immensely as well. And once that comes out with some new content, uh, we'll probably prepare to revisit. And then finally, there's Timberborn that ended recently, and uh, I am going to come back to that. There were some updates recently to the game to an experimental branch, a beta branch, I believe, and I'm going to be paying another visit to that and also playing the Iron Teeth faction, which we haven't even played yet. So uh, those are coming soon, um, or that is coming soon, I should say, and there are still a whole host of games on my list that I haven't been able to to play yet uh, at all myself, let alone on YouTube. But uh, we will take those for another time. So thank you all for joining me for this episode and the series, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.